Hi, this is Naomi from Jessica Six. Hey, this is Martha Watch. What's up? It's Cookie and Jay Wow. Hey, we're live, babe. Peace. What's up, everybody? I'm John B. Hey, gang. This is Christine W. Hi, I'm Lady Buddy, and you're rocking with Rock Metal Inc. Woo! This is Alaska from RuPaul's Drag Race, and you're rocking with Rock Metal Inc. Back. We are interviewing another contestant for season five, Miss Alaska. How are you doing, Mama? I'm so good. How are you? Big Ange just walked in, so now I'm like, now I'm like, oh God, everyone wants to take her picture. <laughs> no, but I think they want to take your picture as well. I hope so. Yeah. So, <laughs> so for uh, those of you who don't know, Alaska is actually the girlfriend, boyfriend of Sharon Needles, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how, I know you entered the contest before, right? At, uh, oh yeah. yeah, I've auditioned every single time that you're allowed to audition, and sometimes even when they weren't allowing me to audition, so yeah. every single time. But I think everything happens for a reason, you know, and now is your time and your moment. I think you're totally right, and I think the show changes so much every year right. that like, I think that I was finally ready for the show, and the show was finally ready for me, so I think it worked out really yeah. well. Whatever you put out in the universe is what, what, what you get back, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Never give up. Yes, don't give up. So I caught a little sneak preview of the first episode, uh -huh. and like you are just really serving it. I mean, for those who haven't seen the episode, it's a really good episode, and your runway presentation is like off the... Oh, I thank you. Unfortunately, that dunk tank happened. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't swim, I can't hold my breath underwater, I can't open my eyes underwater. It was just like a right. perfect storm of mess, but I hope I made up for it with my... Oh yeah, you sure definitely did. Thank you so much. This is Macy for Rock Metal Inc. I am interviewing the legendary Diva icon, Miss Martha Wash. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, she just came off from a performance right now uh, at Club Industry. And uh, what are your thoughts on this performance? I think it came out great. I've, uh, the audience really, really liked the songs, which I'm happy about. Yes. And they were just right there with me from the beginning, which yes. is a really, really good thing. I definitely felt a lot of passion and emotion from you. And it's like, I love your voice. And it's like, when I think of like soul singers, I think of Patti LaBelle, I think of Shaka Khan. I think like, you know, you're such a, oh, you know, underrated artist, you know? And it's like, I think your name should be within those you know, legendary divas, right? I'm just a working woman, that's how I refer to myself. But, you know, it's been years. So. Been around since the, from the, like, 30 years, right? Yeah. How does that feel? I, I've been around for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just glad to be here, that's the first thing. Right, right. You know, but uh, I just keep on, I keep on working and keep on working and keep on working and things happen when they're supposed to. Yes. Hi, this is Nacy reporting for Rock Metal Inc. We are backstage at BB King's uh, BB King's tonight. We are doing an interview with R&B recording artist John B. How are you doing this afternoon? Well, I'm well. You're well. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm glad to be back in NY. You know, uh, with the fam out here. You know, and just uh, rocking the BB Kings is always a, a soulful set, a really great night. You know, it's like. A lot of energy in this club, and yes. the fans alone in NY hold me down so tough. It's just it's, it's they such definitely a, give you it's, love. It's a it's a true honor every time. It's a celebration of the music, and right. you know we're going on like I think it's like almost like a twenty year career now. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you've been around for almost twenty years. How does it feel to be still doing what you love the most? Yeah. Your passion. Incredible. I feel very very blessed and and, and uh, fortunate. Uh, but I know it doesn't come without hard work. You yes. know what I mean? And, and we work hard. I'm a grinder. I, can't nobody say that I haven't been everywhere. You're a hustler. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I've been everywhere, man. They say. <laughs> Introduce yourself. This is the other dancer. Hi, my name is Viva. 
How are you? Good. What? Just coming back for little Kiki with the girls. <laughs> Kiki, exactly. <laughs> so, um, what did you think about tonight's show? Oh, we killed it. Back in NYC <laughs> where we were, we were born and it felt really good. big following in Europe mm -hmm. you know so why do you think Europe is so responsive to your music I mean I know here in America it's like people mm -hmm. are catching on yeah. but like Europe you're always like on tour all the time like, yeah yeah it's always surprising you never know where music's gonna land in the world and I think the song White Horse really reached a lot of people I remember when we were writing it we were kind of yeah. In my mind, I had like a Euro sound, you know, Euro pop right. kind That's of what I get. influence mixed with house Euro music, disco. mixed with freestyle. So right. I guess they really caught that element and it yeah. really, really took off. So it's really sweet. <laughs> This is Nacy reporting for Rock Metal Inc. We are here uh, interviewing the one and only Miss Crystal Waters. How are you? I'm tonight? excellent. I'm excited about tonight. Now, you've been involved with uh, a lot of charities. I know you do a lot of stuff for AIDS research and stuff like that. So you've been doing it for a while now, right? Oh, yeah, and I just did the white party in Miami this weekend. So, and that's a party I've done, I think that started in 1985. So. Oh, wow. So it's been going a while and it's still doing good things. Yes. Yeah. Why are you passionate towards certain, you know, like well, these causes? Like well, I always say, you know, the gay community has always been my biggest fan base. Yes. From day one, they've been loyal. Mm -hmm. And I have to give back. I'm so thankful. People <laughs> Nacy, I'm reporting for Rock Metal Inc. and we are doing an exclusive interview with, uh, we're kind of doing like an artist spotlight on an upcoming uh, group, right? Would you say? Yes. And they go by the name of Lion Babe and uh, this is the member, the lead singer, Julian Hervey. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And we got Lucas Goodman, yeah. right? How yeah, are you doing? I'm good. You're good? All right. I saw you on TV. You were on uh, Drag Race. Drag Race. <laughs> yeah. Yes, with Chad Michaels and yeah. Chanel. Yes. 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 How is that? Ex how? <laughs> I know. How is that experience? Um, that was really kind of the highlight of my last year. Besides releasing Dreaming Like Fire, uh, it was just so much fun and yeah. and such a great way to kind of come into the TV world for right. me. I, I I really I've. Always that was had. the first time I saw you yeah, on television. Yeah, that was like right. my first thing, real thing, and, and uh, I have a lot of just respect for drag queens. I've always admired what they do, and so yeah, because you were all painted and <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, up. do it all, please. Yeah, so right. just to be in part of something like that, that show I think is one of the best shows on television. Absolutely. So. We are here on the red carpet, and we are interviewing somebody that is legendary in. New York City nightlife. I legendary mean, means old. <laughs> no, legendary means diva status. Oh, okay. Thank you for clarifying yes. that. Yes. Miss Lady Bunny, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. I'm DJing tonight. Oh, this really? It's going to be an amazing show. Yes. Snooki, Jay Well, yes, Raja, uh, Sharon Needles, and uh, the other winner, oh, Tyra, Tyra, and all the girls from season five. Season five, okay. Yeah. So tell us about this party, like what can we expect later on, performances, are you performing? No, I'm DJing, DJing, DJing. tonight, yeah, DJing tonight, okay. and, uh, but we do a regular Friday night here called Hot Mess, Bianca Del Rio, who is emceeing this show tonight, will be the okay. emcee, and honey, that bitch is evil, is hateful, and hilarious, you will love every fucking minute of it. Next uh, week is our one year anniversary, oh, do you wow. remember when Tan Mom got really yes, drunk at that drag yes. show? That That's was our Hot Mess. That. 
Right. Yeah. That was a hot mess, and that was one year ago. Uh, oh so she'll God. be back next Friday wow. at our one year anniversary, oh which is God. not to be missed because that bitch is crazy. She is. All right. So where can people find you? At ladybunny.net or on Facebook at Lady Bunny Forever. Okay, so or on Rock Metal Inc. Doing top <laughs> top notch interviews. Oh, there you go. Thank you for that. And also, what's uh, what's up and coming for you this year? You know, I've got a new a song coming out on RuPaul's album. Okay. Uh, that is kind of like a duet that we did, and uh, who knows what else? Traveling, touring. You know, a little cock sucking here and there. Oh, did I say that? Are there children that watch your show? Yeah. Oh, I well, don't you know. are a child. No, I'm not a child. I, I'm from the old school, like you, honey. Yeah, but we never graduated. <laughs> oh, exactly, exactly. We we failed. We were expelled. All right. Thank you so much. You are a delight. Love you.